Five wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Howdy folks, it's Pixel and we're here to start our journey in the Pillars of Eternity. So we are done with character creation. Uh, if you want to view that, go back and check that video out. But let's go. This is Pixel, my level one ranger. New quest: the Gilded Veil. Vale. The caravan master finishes addressing the group. His bushy red mustache and sagging jaws quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. <laughs> Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case, you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Uh, Sparkle nods and slides the worn bowl, bow over his shoulder. Uh, my response is here. Where would I find these berries? What are those ruins? Is it dangerous out here? What are these huge rocks coming out of the ground? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. So a stone that grows. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own dies if it gets dug up loses its luster folks think it probably grew at one point or another but not these days the soul butchers in defiance bay use it for different things i've heard tell it can hold a man's soul but i don't care to see it got enough to worry about without seeing something like that okay um i'm usually a pretty inquisitive person I like to know things that's the kind of character i'm rolling here a ranger that is inquisitive but he also keeps to himself to a degree he's kind of quiet so these responses aren't I wouldn't ask where to find these berries necessarily as a ranger I'd, I feel like I can find them uh, he did mention briefly what the ruins are is it dangerous out here it really doesn't matter because I'm always gonna be on guard so I'm just gonna leave hold on take someone with you I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot not like most of this lot but if you drop dead I don't want to be looking for the body Got a schedule to keep. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. <laughs> I like Kalisha. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. That's pretty funny. Her picture, she's really cute, but she sounds like she's a 50 year old smoker who smokes three packs a day. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. He casts a silent long glance at her. 
Off with you. Aiden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Okay. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. All right. Um, first thing I want to do is get let's see Kalisha ahead of me and my bear ahead of her or ahead of me. I want to be in the back as a ranger. All right. Huh? What you need? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's see here. Let's just head out this way. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. Uh, do I have many? Let's see here. I have I have a hundred currency, whatever that is. Okay. Gotta get used to the game. I'll have your water soon enough. The stream's not going anywhere. Points through a narrow canyon back the way you came. Grooves we in the road. shouldn't stray too far. Uh, mark the way. Okay, let's see what's over here. Let's check by those outcroppings. I like the. <laughs> uh oh. Some combat. Okay. My first combat. <laughs> let's uh, choose the wolf and then let's do the wounded arrow on the wolf. And then Kalista. Oh, you can just you can knock it down, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, right. I'll check combat on my own time. So if it's gonna watch me read that. What's it telling me? That's pretty good. That arrow just took out like a lot. What's over here? Is my berries? This is it. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Kalisha, I guess as a columnist, she says. Odina said you were some kind of colonist before coming here. If that's the case, you'll fit right in. Whole country is a bunch of colonists. You like frontier life or what? Um, it wasn't by choice. I was fleeing persecution. Yeah? How is it you happened to come here? The place I ended up was just as bad as the place I left. Another dead end. I know what the, that feels like. You really can't trust anyone, can you? Uh, Kalisha breaks in her, breathes in her surroundings. It's been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Redrick's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of the lot? Um, it's a hard offer to pass up. You won't find many offers like it in these parts, believe me. You got some big plan in store? To whether it's a good place to colonize for my family and friends. Um, part of my backstory that I hadn't completely revealed. So I am going to check this area by the Gilded uh, Veil to see if it's good for my friends and family. So my answer is going to be I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Felicia, completely spontaneous, huh? Interesting. Well, there's pl probably no hurry to make up your mind. They've got an inn in Gilded Veil that'll put you up as long as you need. Or so my sister tells me. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Odima will give me an earful. Let's be on our way. I kind of want to ask her about herself. Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that leads, uh, lets me live that way. Uh, my family wonders too. We started in drywood, but my parents ended up in the living lands. Hey, that's where I'm from. I've got a brother in Rartai, Rartai, and another in Adir. My sister in Gilderville, she's the only real homebody. Hmm. Alright, let's go back to camp. Got 
find the sparkle. Can we go this way? Anything over here? What's this? Burned lady. What's this way? Yeah, I go over there. What's this? Oh, this is the river, I guess. What a surprise. Sparkle went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Okay, use the tab key to highlight interactive objects. Oh, what's this over here? This is recent. This is a camp. Not good. Footprints from the campfire are indistinct and may have been here for days longer. Let's get that bottle. Oh, it's a beer. Could use a beer. Definitely could use some beer right now. What is this? Tear cap? Whatever that is. Let's get the water skin. He cops the river bank and dip your water skin in the cool water while Kalisha waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you'll notice her look up sharply towards the tree line. Out of the trees emerged Sparkle, one of the guides, barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there's a strangeness to his gait. His stride wobbles as he moves towards you with a labored breath. Sparkle? Are you alright? Sparkle's toe catches on a rock and he flaps his forward in a heap, the feather shaft and the arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Ambush! It's on. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna wounded arrow this guy. Kalisha will knock that guy down. And my bear is going to go after that guy. And then I'm going to have Kalisha go after that guy. Huh? No problem. I need to get the hot key. a hot key for that backspace. Why is it a backspace? I need to change that hot key. It's like way away from where I would want it to be. Oops. This is this way. Still figuring this out. <laughs> huh? ah, got him. You score a crit. Sweet. Oh, what is it? Throw like little, little bits and pieces. The mastery remains of the other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy. Kalisha puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away some poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, trembling on limbs, backs, and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half-split logs. One of them, towering and severe with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man you recognize as head and the last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Hmm. I wonder if he'll become a party member if I'm able to save him. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to respond with, We have not trespassed. We merely wish to pass through. Your words carry no weight when I have seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. So you now have one rank in disposition reputation. These reputations represent how people perceive your personality. Okay. I'm not a paladin. Don't have to worry about that too much, I guess. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't. So I say again, lay down your arms. Oh, so I need perception, intellect, resolve, athletics, or intellect to get those responses. See, we're innocent of this. We not listen. Okay, only a fool attacks a weak enemy while a stronger one yet lives. Put down your weapons. Okay, I'm going to say only a fool attacks a weak enemy while a stronger one lives yet. The man considers this looking you up and down. Hmph, <laughs> yet. He shoves Hayden towards you as he does so. The man rakes his blade against Hayden's torso. Hayden screams and stumbles forward, wide gash in his clothing, be beginning to bloom crimson. The man sets his feet to engage you, his axe raised high. Okay, so first thing, I want Hayden to run over here. Then I am going to obviously shoot that leader. My bear is going to attack him. Alicia is going to go for knockdown on him. And let's hmm? do that. Hey, Adam, where are you at? Oh, wow. He kicked their butts. Your enemy lies supine on the ground, unable to rise. His companion is now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, physical gaps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good, the gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. Uh oh, is this like a Beowick or whatever that wind is called? The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, a bending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. Hmm. Seated against wagon wheel amidst the howling mace from slash across his chest and bow, Edema's body stirs, and with great effort, he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open, he looks strictly Get at you. Get inside! Run! Oh, but I want the loot! Why are you running? No, 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 no. Whoa, that beer with his hard school. Hardcore. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Straining against the gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step you set your hands upon worn folds of weathered rock and set about to pull yourself up the precipice. With the last burst of energy before your arms go out, you swing yourself under the ledge. Head and trails behind, slowed by injury, delayed by hesitation. Restrained head and lashes out against his fatigue assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. From your position, you would have a good chance of hitting your mark. Fire at the attacker, or I have high enough dexterity to grab a rock and hurl it, or allow him to break free on his own. I'm going to help him. Grab a rock. I don't think I have time to shoot. Your aim is true, and hit jars hail and loose. Sweet. But diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. I secure his hand. There's a deep resonance to the swelling wind. You feel it in rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. As your party grows in size, you may want to change your formation. You can use the formation button in the main HUD to cycle between free built formations or build your own. I'm actually glad they said that because I now have Hayod in with me. Was that a Beowick? A Beowick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Can you walk? Okay. Let's. What is this? Lower. Lower ruins has been blocked. No problem. Okay, yeah, let's change my formation. Alright, so the rogue is gonna go 
The road is gonna go here. I want him. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Yeah, let's get going. Uh, my guy wouldn't really ask what happened. I mean, we were attacked. Who attacked us? Probably the guys that uh, hailed, not hailed him, but the uh, caravan leader told us about. Hedden takes a step forward and his knee buckles. Before anyone can catch him, he stumbles to the ground, his cheeks striking the time-worn cobbles. On unsteady legs, he claws his way up the wall and back to his feet, but his stance is shaky like a sailor walking on land after a time at sea. Could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. Might be a place to rest there. Um, uh, the game tells me I've discovered some camping supplies. I can use those to rest. I'm fully restoring. I hate to characters. say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfathens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill, and there's probably a lot of them. We can't be caught sleeping in their beds. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either gotta find the exit or a damn good place to hide. Um, I don't know how hardcore this game is, but I would be inclined to agree with Kalisha that we do need to keep moving. We don't need to be sleeping or resting in a dungeon, especially one where they are trying to kill us because somebody entered here. Kalisha's right, we have to press on. We don't know what we're up against. I, I'll do my best. Okay, I'm going to hear here, folks. And when uh, I come back on the next one, we're going to explore this dungeon and try to keep uh, Hayoden alive. Let's see, Hayoden is, I think he's a rogue? He looked like a rogue with swords. Uh, two daggers or something. What is he? Does he say right there? Character? Oh, there we go. Level one rogue. Okay. And Felicia is a level one fighter. All right, good. All right, so we'll do that. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Pixel. Peace out. And as always, love you, man.